Hello, DBW Universe. It is I, President Phillips here, the owner and president of Dominating Backyard Wrestling, the DBW. Over the course of the past almost two years, uh, DBW has grown by leaps and bounds to give you the best entertainment and the best action in backyard wrestling today. Now, in saying this, we continue to improve, we continue to add content uh, to our already growing channel, and in saying this, we are ready to take that next step. We are going to be bringing you Thursday Night Thunder Punch. Uh, it's going to be our brand new episodic series here at DBW uh, that will begin on February 15th uh, of this year, of 2018, to help our viewers get more interactive and engaged in the storyline, the characters, and everything involved with DBW. So be on the lookout. We uh, thank you so much uh, for your support and your views and, and your feedback on the content we keep leaving up on our channels and, and everything like that on all forms of social media that we have. But again, I want to say thank you very much from myself and the rest of the DBW corporate team. And we look forward to bringing you DBW Thursday Night Thunder Punch. Gentlemen, it's been a long time in the making. Finally, here we are, the very first episode of DBW Thursday Night Thunder Punch. As we head on our road to Total Domination 3. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the action. Our first match of the evening is a grudge match between the Backyard Nightmare Adam Anderson and the DBW World Heavyweight Champion, KC James. Every sky will build my Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is one member of the New Brotherhood and one half of the DBW Tag Team Champions, Adam the Backyard Nightmare Anderson. Trainer! Yeah, I do. Oh. You can get that knob out of your throat. Fine. And oh, his opponent. Oh. He is the good vibes guru and TVW World Champion, K.C. James. I just got back from saving the galaxy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get this first match underway. It's a grudge match between Adam Anderson and KC James. As you all saw at Merry Mayhem last year, Adam Anderson turned on the murder club and turned on his best friend, KC James. And now they're about to have a match. And I honestly can't wait to see this. There's going to be some crazy things going on in this matchup. Are you ready? You ready? Ring the Looks like we're ready. And they ring the bell. Let's get this started. Both men circle in the ring. It looks like there's a little hesitation there. <laughs> Adam says the sun's in his eyes. And they lock up. 
<laughs> and KC just throws Adam in the corner like it's nothing. Adam's like a piece of paper to KC James. Into the other corner. Oh, and he hits a back elbow. And a huge enziguri to Adam, taking him straight down. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, KC James is the DBW World Heavyweight Champion. And as you can see, he's the champ for a reason. He's got Adam up with a scoop slam. Hits some ropes. And oh, short end drop kick straight to the face. Right in the mush. Do you feel okay? PG. Where does it hurt? Adam is not doing well in the first parts of these match. And a giant headbutt straight to Adam. He's in the... Oh, God, this can't be good for Adam Anderson. Yep, he's setting up. Looks like... Casey's going for the cannonball. Oh, but Adam moves out of the way. Oh, it looks like it's Adam's turn. What's he going to do? He's waiting. And oh, oh, a huge senton from Adam Anderson to KC James. That looked like it actually hurt him. That was impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Anderson being one half of the DBW Tag Team Champions. Oh, he's got his arm wrenched. Adam just pulling on that arm. Looks like he's trying to pull the shoulder out. Oh, and he got him in a roll up. Casey reverses with her. Oh, no good. Only a two count on that one. Oh, Casey's he's he's favoring that that right shoulder. This can't be good. Looks like Adam actually did some damage. No, oh, Adam's stomping on the shoulder. You better stop looking at the crowd. He's wasting time. What's Adam going to do next? Oh, my goodness. He, oh, my God. He just keeps stomping on that right shoulder that he already did. Oh, Jesus. This can't be good for Casey James. If he can't use that shoulder, he can't hit the Lady Gaga naked eating pizza. Oh, God. He just keeps working the shoulder over and over again. Casey's up. Oh, Adam with that damn shoulder again. He just keeps nailing the shoulder over and over. Oh, God. He's really trying to dislocate that shoulder. And... Oh, a disrespectful kick to the face. And then another one to the back of the head. Adam has no respect for Casey James whatsoever, and you can see that. Is this your champ? Your DVW world champion. Oh, Adam's cut. He's just taunting Casey. <laughs> Casey with the rake to the eyes. Off the ropes. Oh, and a huge lariat, but it looked like that hurt Casey James. He took out Adam Anderson, but at what price? It looks like he really hurt that shoulder. It might be dislocated at this point. We're not sure. Let's Jeez. Casey James popping his shoulder back into place. He's not. He's. Oh, God. He's got Adam in something. What's he going to do? Oh. And he just. What? He flipped him. It looks like Adam tried to reverse that. Oh. Casey James not having it with a huge fisherman brain buster. And both men are down. Casey going for the pin. That has to be it. <laughs> and no, only a two count. Adam Anderson, for his size, is more yeah, resilient no, than he no, looks. No, Casey James getting to his feet. The DBW World Champion has been through a lot of challenges, but he's overcome them all, especially Adam Anderson at the end of Mary Mayhem last year. Let's go, 
Adam Anderson cashing his number one contender championship, but not being successful because Casey James retained the title against him after retaining against Cyrus. Oh, a huge forearm from Adam Anderson. Casey looks dazed. And another. Casey's not. Oh, and a kick. What's Adam about to do? Leaps over. Oh, and a huge code red. Huge code red from Adam Anderson. He goes for the pin, but Casey's right there grabbing the ropes. Casey has great ring awareness. Adam looking very displeased. And Casey's getting up. Casey's not happy. It looks like, oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Kicks Adam right in the head. Adam in the corner again. This can't be good for him. What's Casey setting up for? He, he looks like he's just... He looks dazed. Like he's not... It just looks like he wasn't ready to do what he wanted to do. Picking Adam back up. And he's taking him to the other corner. Oh, right off the turnbuckle. And again. And again. Oh, he goes down. All three turnbuckles. Adam in the corner. Casey going to the other corner. I think he's ready now. What's he going to do? Oh! He calls that the chronic kick. Could this be it? Casey picking Adam up. He sent him straight to the floor with the 12 And yeah, I, yep, this looks like it's gonna be it. Set up for the Lady Gaga. Oh, oh wait, Mr. Judgment! Was he, oh come on! Mr. Judgment with a low blow, and now they're beating they're beating the world champ down. This isn't right. This happened at Mary Mayhem too. I, I can't believe this. The dirty underhand tactics of the New Brotherhood are just getting out of hand. This is ridiculous. It, I don't... What? What's this? Blaze and Striker! What are Blaze and Striker doing here? They came to... They came to Casey's rescue. They're trying to fight off the Brotherhood. Of all people who come to Casey's rescue, Blaze and Stryker, not even the murder club. That's that's crazy. Looks like Stryker and Blaze are getting the upper hand on them now, too. Casey is just out. Casey dealing with probably a head injury, definitely a shoulder injury. And he just got... Oh, we just got hit in the yum berries. Throw Adam out of the ring. Striker and Blazer just taking it to town on the New Brotherhood. What are they doing here? Wheelbarrow. Oh, and a leg drop. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe what I just saw. That is, that is the most random combination of people, wrestlers I've ever seen put together to come out and save Casey James. They look very happy with themselves, very pleased. Casey, on the other hand, does not. He's just giving Stryker and Blaze the dirtiest of looks. It looks like he didn't want their help. Oh, man. You good? This isn't good. You two, what the hell was that? What? You don't just come out and interfere in matches whenever the hell you feel like. We are the Brotherhood. And I'm the DBW Commissioner. So here's what we're going to do. You two in the main event tonight are going to face Stryker and Blaze. Oh, uh, 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 it gets better. I'm the special guest referee. Oh, don't threaten me with a good Get ready. Hey, uh, you. Bring it. Shut your face. Oh. Easy stuff. Did you hear what Well, it looks like Commissioner Neely is not happy, and tonight he has set the main event. It is going to be the New Brotherhood, Mr. Judgment and Adam Anderson versus Blaze and Stryker. With 
Commissioner Neely being the special guest referee. March 24th is almost upon us, which means one thing, the DBW kickoff, total domination three, and this means the return of none other than the brothers. Three. So, on. Doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Right. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready for it. The three returns to DBW. Mm-hmm. Part of this Royal Rumble, man. All of us. Exactly. Especially you at first. That's and right. You. That's right. Number one and Mr. Johnny Reed, you're number two. Who's he? Johnny Reed? Yeah. All right. So here's the deal. So after we take care of this, and then when the other guy gets here, we take care of that thing there. You're going to come in, and you're going to look up Johnny Reed, and you're going to get fresh course. Mr. Johnny Reed is a fantastic superstar. Great talent. Unbelievable wrestler. So, Johnny, I'm going to be doing you a solid, pal. Instead of eliminating you after the first five seconds, I, like the fans, want to see what you can bring to the DBW universe to see how you're going to go in this Royal Rumble for none other than the number one contender title. Do you know who else is in this Royal Rumble? I did us, but, you know, in the DBW roster, who else? Mm, none other than Sega Punk. So you're telling me I'm in it twice. If you want to look at it like that, absolutely. That's why you got two shots. That's how I'm looking at it, you know. So, <laughs> so that means we got not just three chances because there's the three of us. Mm -hmm. We got four now. Mm. Four, four, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, DBW, we're gonna make this short and sweet. Last year was bullshit. This year, the creed is coming, and we're coming to deliver nothing but pain and suffering. So Mr. Connors, how do you feel? Should we go into this Royal Rumble and just walk in, eliminate everybody and go home with some gold? Or do you think maybe we should have some fun? What do you think? I personally think we should have some fun with this. Because if we were to end it all quickly, because we could do a full speed through of a game, then where's the fun in playing it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exploit it all. Okay, so. We should go in there, not only destroy them, but also take what we want. I like that. I like okay. that. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to play this out, if you will. Whether we win the gold or not, it's not going to matter because ultimately there's going to be a whole lot of ass kicking going on. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. All right. DBW, the Brothers Creed, it's coming. And when I say we're coming to deliver pain and suffering, you bet your ass, people are going to the hospital. <laughs> Man, Total Domination 3 is here already. Yeah. The Assassin, I got all the contracts lined out, ready to go. Powers did what he does best and let that money fly and got a fantastic investment on its way rolling down. I have all the power-ups I'm going to need. So you know what this means? <laughs> it's going to be the it's going to be our year. Exactly. This isn't going to be Casey James year. It's got it's not going to be the It Factor Cyrus's year. It's not even going to be How about the Dark Brotherhood. It's you not going to be their year. Oh hell no. Hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. No. It's going to be the Brothers Creed's year. 2018. Is gonna end with all gold coming home. Let's go take care of business. You got it, man. Let's take it up. Thank you.
my opinion. As you all saw at the last DBW show, I had a lot of, a lot of things to say. And why is that? Why did I say what, need, what needed to be said? Why? Because this is a new beginning for Victor Van Pelt. Because hey, I'm only human after all. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. What really matters right now is what this human is going to be doing at Total Domination. Yeah, 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 Murder Club FTC, we'll talk about that later. I got a special promo for that one. But the penitentiary match, me and five other guys, Casey James, RJ Carnage, Blaze, and Damon Scar, and that other guy, all in this big match for one shot at that DBW championship. But you know what? Me, me being only human, after all, thinks I deserve to go against the champion before the match itself. So give me a shot against Casey James, and I will show you why I am. Just like the rest of these sheep. Just like the rest of these peasants. The rest of these morals. But you know, Victor, you don't look that bad. But I wish your level of intelligence could relate to your looks. <laughs> Victor, you know, I hear you running down these names. I hear you mentioning everyone, but that one guy? Really, that one guy? Do you not know who that one guy is, Victor? Not really. Answer, that's Mr. Freaking Judge! Whoa, I'm shaking in my kick pads. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's our key, man. Yeah, yeah, the little green kick pad, yeah, 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 shut up! Victor, you know, we go a long way back, you and I do. We really do. We, we've had our fights, by the way, you never beat me. We've had our moments. I've always came out on top. And we've always done, we were, we were, we were the best two guys back in the old days. Back in the one place that I shall not speak of because looking back on it now, it's got nothing but piles of trash. Oh wait, it doesn't exist because its ropes got stolen. Oh, oh that's a shoot, brother. Oh. And if a certain somebody wasn't so stupid to manage to maintain care of their rope, we wouldn't lose it, now would we? You running down these guys, saying everyone's name, saying everyone's name, but Mr. Judgment? Really? Really? What's wrong with you, Victor? I thought you were better than that, Victor! Aren't you supposed to be smarter than that? I thought you were the diamond at the end of the day, the $25 diamond, the Alkyo Million Dollar, the bank account cleaner, the Dana Dollar style, and especially your mother's favorite wrestler. You're none of those things, Victor. You are nothing. You are nothing. And in that penitentiary match, you are going to lose, Victor. Don't you want to? No, no, no. You don't deserve the money. Your time to talk is done, Victor. We've all heard you run your mouth over and over again saying the same old thing, the same old stick. Well, Victor, it's time you get something new. You aren't anything good. You never have been anything good. Oh. 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 You think this is a game? In the words of 
CJE. I'm gonna rip your fucking head off. Penitentiary! This is in a new game for me. Simple work. Opinion, don't ask me to lie. And beg for forgiveness for making you cry. Making you well, it certainly seems like Victor Van Pelt means business heading into the penitentiary match at Total Domination 3, laying out Hellahan Zach Romig after some heated words. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to our main event of the evening, the New Brotherhood versus Blaze and Striker. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, Striker. Come on, Blaze. All right, it looks on, like Commissioner Stryker. Neely is telling the New Brotherhood he doesn't want any underhanded tactics from them, making sure both teams are ready. Ring the bell. Oh, this be and the bell is rung. Let's get this tag team match started. First in our Blaze and Mr. Judgment circling the ring. And they hold out. Oh, look like they're going for lockup. Blaze swings around him. Go for a clothesline. Blaze drop kick and judgment straight to the ground. Oh, looks like tr Blaze tried something, but it didn't work out. Judgment always has the upper hand on that. Drop from judgment. Oh, here is. And the. Oh, he was going for the T bone, but Blaze reversed him. Kick to the gut. What's Blaze going to do here? Oh, and a DDT from Blaze. He has judgment reeling. Blaze's size is usually an issue against these guys, but he finds a way to make it work. He's just kicking the crap out of judgment. I love it. Judgment pushing him away. Blaze is trying to attack, but judgment just keeps pushing him away. Judgment got Blaze backed into the corner. But, oh, he tried going under legs, but it didn't work. Oh, and he has him by the throat. Get up, get him out of the corner. Come on, come on, get off of there. Get him out of the corner. Commissioner Neely looking very displeased by the uh, the actions of Mr. Judgment there. Judgment running from the corner. Oh, Blaze moves out of the way. Judgment hits his head off the turnbuckle. Blaze with a huge European uppercut. Looks like he's going for another. Yep, there's two. Did we see a third? Oh, no. Oh. And a two count. Judgment taking Blaze down face first to the mat. And he just throws Blaze into the corner. Tagging in Adam Anderson. And some vicious chops to the blade. Oh my God. Adam hitting the corner and coming back. I mean, no, Huge oh. knee to the blaze from Adam Anderson. And Judgment's tagged right back in. Roll over. He brings Judgment up. Blaze comes. Oh, and a kick to the face by Judgment. And a pin, but it's no good. He wasn't the legal man anyways. That's ridiculous. These two tried some really shysty things. And Blaze off the ropes. And a stunner from Blaze. Judgment tried to take him out, but it didn't work. Frequent tags are the best way to keep your, you know, keep fresh. And we got a tag from Striker. Striker's coming in. It looks like Adam was tagged in too. Oh, he's just nailing him with those forearms. Striker throwing Adam into the turnbuckle. Huge clothesline. And like a giant stalling vertical suplex showing the strength of Striker. He came in like a freight train. He's got Adam up. Looks like he's putting him in a package. Oh, Adam reverses, though. Adam's trying... Adam tried to pull him over in a back body drop, but it didn't work. Now, oh, giant power slam from Striker. Goes for the pin, doesn't work out. Judgment coming in to stop the pin. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Striker and Mr. Judgment had a match at Mary Mayhem, qualified for the penitentiary match, and it was, in my opinion, match of the night. It was fantastic. Judgment is laying waste to Stryker. These two know each other very well after that match. Float over neck breaker and a pen. Oh, but only a two count. 
Striker is not easily taken down. You can't just take him down with a couple moves, and Judgment knows that. The match they had went on for a very long time because these two did not want to give up. But in the end, Mr. Judgment wins the match, goes to the penitentiary match at Total Amnesty 3. Judgment is just working Striker over. Come on, Striker! Elbow to the back of the head. Oh, Striker fighting back now. He's got Judgment up on his shoulders. Oh, and a huge fireman's carrying into a neck breaker on the knee. <laughs> and now he's choking judgment and an elbow drop straight to the gut. It looks like he's trying to get him to some kind of weird submission here. Does he have luck? Oh, he's grabbing the arms. Oh, he, is he doing what I think he's going to do? And he's trying. He's getting him as much as he can. Oh, and a curb stomp. Striker hits a curb stomp. Judgment's face goes straight in the mat. Oh, and now he's working that leg. Striker likes a methodical pace. He likes to break down his opponents. And then he hits him with the big moves. Judgment coming back and a huge T-bone suplex to Striker. That might have taken him down. That might be it. Judgment isn't going for it though. He's not going for the pin. He's coming with that huge scissor kick leg drop. And then the pin. One. Two. Nope. Two. The two count. We have seen some great competition here tonight. And unfortunately, this match was set up because the New Brotherhood attacked the world champion, Casey James. In a match from earlier tonight with Adam Anderson and Casey. Oh, Jesus. He has to be unconscious. Striker has to be out. That's it. That's the match. It has to be. Oh, he's got his arm. Adam has the arm of Stryker. What's he doing with it? He was working Casey James' arm really bad earlier in the match in the in the night, and it looked like he dislocated Casey's shoulder. Maybe he's trying to do that again. Uh, another double team from the New Brotherhood. They've really come together. They've come together as a team and a group. They have the Anarchy Championship and Hellhound Zach Romig. Judgment and Adam Anderson have the DBW Tag Team titles. Uh, they have gold. They're dominant. Ladies and gentlemen, this year could very well be the biggest year for the New Brotherhood. This guy. Yeah. Judgment picking up Striker. Oh, and a slap to the face. The disrespect that Judgment gives his opponents is ridiculous. And another slap. Striker's reeling. Judgment sends Striker off the ropes. Oh, but Striker answers back with a drop kick at his out. Judgment is down. Looks like Striker's going. Is he going for a pin? He's going for the pin. Oh, but it's only a two count. That, you're not, it's going to be more than that, Striker, to take down Mr. Judgment. He's a hellacious opponent. He's vicious. Oh, it looks like Adam was trying to do something shysty over there, but Commissioner Neely stopped him. Striker with forms to the back of Judgment's head. And out of the front. The back of the mush, then the front of the mush. Striker running towards. Oh, and a giant knee straight to the mush. Judgment is dazed. Super kick, and now Judgment's down. And a double foot stomp from Striker. That could very well be it, but Judgment is rolling out of the ring. 
Judgment playing it smart after that. Adam looks like he was trying to pull Judgment out. And Striker pulling him back in straight to the middle. Tagging in the blaze. Looks like they're going for a double team of their own. Striker lifts up blaze and oh, a leg drop. Double leg drop. And then the pin. But only a two count. Adam jumping in to stop it. But it looked like Judgment kicked out right before that. Blaze with kicks to the back. Stomping on the back. That's his thing, man. He's got that small size, so he has to be fast. He has to be quick. And he has to strike hard and as much as possible. Blaze with a leapfrog bulldog. And then a rollover senton. Judgment is not in a good way right now. Looks like Blaze and Striker have the upper hand. Adam trying to pull Bla Judgment out of the ring. Judgment just looks confused. Blaze has Judgment in the corner now. Oh, and he was going to do something. Judgment stops him. Kicks him right in the gut. Oh, Jesus. I'm not entirely sure of the name of that move, but it, it killed Blaze. It had to have done it. Apparently not. Striker stopping the kick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an exciting tag team match. Both teams have done very well against each other. But someone has to... Oh, Jesus! Perfect counter by Blaze. Oh, and then a, and then a backstabber. As I was saying, both teams are doing fantastic, but there has to be a winner. Commissioner Neely isn't going to let this go into a no contest. He's not going to let any BS happen either. Blaze with a suicide dive right onto the Brotherhood. You know, for, for a guy his size, he's a torpedo, man. I can't believe he just took both of them out. That was a surprise by me. Oh, God, don't tell me Striker's going for it now. And he does, ladies and gentlemen, Striker taking out the new brotherhood just after Blaze did. That had to hurt a hell of a lot more than what uh, Blaze did, but damn. Striker throwing judgment back in the ring. He gets in, he thinks he's going for a pin. Nope, he's going to roll him over. Now what's Striker doing? He looks like he's going up. As he ascends to the top. He is up. And down, ladies and gentlemen. With a big frog splash on the pin. But a kick out. Looks like Adam was trying to interrupt the pin anyways. <laughs> Striker tagging in Blaze. Blaze with some kicks. Judgment looks pretty beat up. He's not even responding. He's not moving at all. Oh, there we go. Blaze twisting the arm of Judgment. Judgment looks like he's trying to channel dark energies to uh, to get out of this. Adam trying to get into the ring, but the commissioner stopped. Oh, and Stryker from behind the back of Commissioner Neely. Kicking Judgment in the back of the head. Oh, Judgment takes Blaze down. Here you go, Judgment. Blaze throws him off the ropes, swings him back. he doing? Oh, huge move. That was a huge uh, twist into a complete shot. The judgment is reeling though. He looks like he's he's all messed up. Oh, now grinding his boot. 
on the face and the back of Blaze. Pulls him up with one hand. What are they doing now? Throws Blaze into the corner. Smack to the face. Always disrespectful. Judgment going to the other corner. Smack Striker right in the eye. Oh, and then he got... He has him up for a package. What's Adam doing? What is this? What is... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God. They just laid out the blaze. He has to be dead. And then the pin. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Huge double team move by the New Brotherhood. Picking up the victory. Showing why they're they're a dominating force. And the winners of the match, the Dark Brotherhood, Adam Anderson and Commissioner Mr. Neely not looking Jones too happy Man. about uh, raising their hands, but I mean he's he has to be a biased commissioner. Striker looks upset back there. And the new brotherhood gets to hold help hold their heads high. That was an intense tag team match. What could this mean for Blaze and Striker? What could this mean for the new brotherhood? Yeah, I'm pretty glad I left them. A lot of unanswered questions. That's on it. Your childish games are over. It's time for you to pay for your sins and for you. You shut your freaking face. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on the inaugural episode of PBW Thursday Night Thunder Punch. We hope you enjoyed the show. We know we certainly did. We'll see you next time on DBW Thursday Night Thunder Punch.